Hello, 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 my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jen. If this is your first time that you are seeing this face, thank you so much. If you are a return subscriber, oh, oh, she, oh, oh, she, oh, she, oh, oh, that's how to say it. Imena, my people. Imena, they would thank you so much. Love you. God bless you. My dear, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Press your notification bell. So when I upload the video, you will get it. God bless you, my people. Today, please, my people, don't kill me. I am among this problem. <clears throat> people, uh, people like us who have children. And we don't want to teach them our language. We don't want to teach them a language. Especially the Igbo people. Igbo people don't want to speak speak Igbo so the kids can learn. The kids can learn from uh, them speaking it. They are in the house blowing English. And the children will grow up not know the language. And the people that are so bad with this is us the ebos the ebos the ebos there's one american um lady here she hated this thing so much she hated this particular thing so much that she she went in our meeting when we are doing a meeting because she's among our members she will not speak she will tell our people not to speak uh, english she will just say Speak your language. Speak it in Igbo. I will be hearing what you're saying. I might not know how to speak it, but I'm hearing you guys. And she will have a paper and she will be dotting it, jotting it down. Whatever you say, she will jot it down in her own way. If she didn't understand what you were saying, whoever is speaking, she will ask the next person sitting next to her and said, uh, what did she or what did he say? And you explain to her, she will write it. The thing was so bad for her that she she went one time and researched on how she can get Igbo book and give to our children. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, yeah, our people. What is wrong now? American woman is researching for Igbo book for us. We are problem. At least us that, that live here. We can use America and camouflage ourselves and say we're in America. That, hey, the children, if they don't speak, don't kill us too much. What about, it's only also, Yoruba people, no, their, their children speak the language like crazy. Every other people, speak, but the Igbos. I don't know if in their other life, they didn't speak English before. They speak English like crazy. Their children, they don't want them to learn English, uh, to learn a uh, Igbo language. And our language is the sweetest language in Nigeria. <laughs> My people know, I wish I can do this video in Igbo, but unfortunately, if I do it in Igbo language, uh, <clears throat> my people here, my people here that are the ones that are keeping me, they will not hear what I'm saying. So my lovely people, our people, please, teach your children the language, man. What is wrong with all of you? Eh? My children didn't know how to, my son, my first son didn't know how to speak it either. But my second one, he is so nosy. Whatever you say, he will hear you. If you say, no matter how you say it, he will hear it. And they, they I mean, now that they are grown, they go out, they see their friends. They even say it now to kind of mock us. And when we speak our <laughs> language or we and something that if i pronounce it the way we pronounce it at home my children would die laughing so i mean they pronounce it their own way you would not believe that it's the same thing that you are pronouncing but it's it's okay it's the same spell the same way forget about them and there so my let me tell you guys a little story my cousin was here she had her children here and then she decided that no i want to stay home and uh, train these children because the children went home stayed a couple of months and loved home with grandma 
they loved it so when they came here they didn't want to stay here they want to stay with grandma they want to speak the language they speak the language so better than even me look at me look at me that was born in nigeria and raised they speak it i can't speak a complete sentence without putting foolish english but they will speak it without putting anything so they went home and they are they are playing with their friends and their friends will run to their mother and said Oh, we can uh, um, we can hear what they are saying. Um, my 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 little uh, uh, sisters went to them and said, "What do you mean you can't hear what?" <laughs> These people live in uh, Nigeria, you know what? What do you mean you can't hear what I'm saying? And they say, "Yeah, we don't understand what you're saying." Uh, they went and called their mother. They say, Mom, uh, how can we stay in America and we know how to speak uh, uh, Igbo? And the people that are born here, they say they don't hear what we are saying. <laughs> Their mother said, who said that? <laughs> they said, these children, they say they don't understand the language, what we are saying, because we are speaking Igbo. So my sister went um, to their mother and said, is it true that your children said they don't understand the the language? Which they said the mother said which language? They said Igbo language. Which other language? So my the mother said, oh no, they don't understand Igbo language. My sister said, God punish you. <laughs> my sister said, may God punish you for telling me that you mean my children they were born in America. They speak in Igbo. And yours that born here, not speaking Igbo. It's something wrong with you guys. So that was easy. Even me, oh, that I've been here for donkey years. When I go home and I'm speaking my language to all of them, I don't go home and start wanting to speak uh, English. For what? So... At least I can get a break from speaking English. I want to speak my language. So everybody, we hear everybody. You know what I mean? You don't want to show off there that you want to, you know how to speak English. Because that's the easy, I already gave you guys that in my video. I already told you guys. That's the easiest way for them to kidnap you. Okay. Here's the Americans. They, they are back. Let's find out what's up with this woman. And then, even when you are speaking your language, they, 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 they're like, um, auntie, ah, I beg, speak, uh, speak English, man. Well, why are you faking like, uh, like uh, you are not from Obodoibo? I'm like, excuse me, who are you talking to? Uh, you might like in our language. Uh, who are you? What? Uh, excuse me, what's up? Oh, 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 my God, I'm trying to say it in our language. You see what I'm saying? I am a problem, too. Because I don't know how to put it together right now. But I know how to say it. But I don't want to confuse you guys. You see, I have something to... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I am speaking to them in uh, Igbo. They are speaking to me in English. I said, what? What in the world? What a, what a nerve. So they, so until one day, I was doing something and I, I get, they got me so angry. They got me so angry. I, I said something in English. I'm like, yelled at them and said something in English. Ooh, Lord Jesus. They like, ooh, that's what we saying. We knew you can no hide it forever. <laughs> We knew you cannot hide it forever. I'm like, if you don't want to do what I'm paying you to do, get the hell out of here now. Hell, these children mocked me, mocked me because I said, get the hell out of here now. They mocked me until I left Nigeria. So every little thing I say, they say, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Jesus. So my people, please. Especially the ones at home and here, not only at home. If you are in Nigeria and you have a child and your child don't know how to speak our beautiful Igbo language, hmm? you should be ashamed of yourself. Are you okay? 
What are you teaching? Children are very smart. Don't think children are dumb like you. Eh, they cannot understand uh, different language. Um, no matter, even if it's 10 languages, children will learn it and catch it and pass it in the exam. Unlike you, uh, coconut head, that if, if they give you English and mix it up with a Igbo, you wouldn't know which one is which. So that's why you don't want to teach the children because you say you don't want to confuse them. You are not confusing them. Speak the language in the house so that the kids will catch up with what you're doing. Then when they go to school, they will learn English. They will even learn more languages that they're teaching in school. So stop confusing your children, please. Let our children learn our language. Our language will ban. My Lord. When you hear our language, it's so unique. It's so beautiful. You know my name? <laughs> my name is Chine Doom. Chine Doom. That's Igbo name. All my children name, all in Igbo. My husband refused to call them any English name. That's how sweet our name is. If you want to know the meaning of all, all everybody's name, you can come to my comment section and tell me which one you want to know. I will tell you the meaning. I love you guys. So please, my people, let us teach our children our language. You don't want them to be lost. You don't want them, especially in that our country, that they do a whole bunch of evil stuff. So that when they start saying it in the Igbo, so that they can deceive your children, the children will hear what they are saying. Let me not uh, uh, make this video too long. There was one of my friends here that the children know how to speak the language very, very well. So when they went home, they went out to drink, you know. Uh, but you will not know that they know the language. And they speak it. But when they're in the public, they're speaking uh, English. They don't want you to know that they know the language. So when they go to the, 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 uh, with their friends, their friends, all these uh, evils, they are crooking and trying to gang and and rob them and rob them you know saying it in evil not knowing that these children can hear what in the word that they are saying when they finish when it was time for them to and when they say it when the children feel like they are looking at them they they will they will get in the english because the children came back from here they think they are mumu they don't understand they their parents put their foot down and i am so proud of that my sister i am so so proud of her so it's when they were about to carry, when they were doing the thing, <clears throat> the children spoke Igbo in our language and asked them what in the world were they planning. Oh, really? Is that how you guys are in our language? Is that how you guys are? Wow, we thought you guys were our friends. In the Igbo language, they were shocked. They could not believe it. They could not believe what I'm telling you. So, my dear, it's very important to teach our children so that they know, even if they're not speaking it, every, let them hear the language. So when they travel home, all those people at home cannot deceive them. They are hearing when they're trying to dupe them, when they're trying to rob them, when they're trying to hurt them, or when they're trying to kill them. They hear all the words. So, my dear... It is very important for us to teach our children our language. Our language is very, very... Oh, Biafra language, are you guys okay? Don't even start. We have the best language in Nigeria. And please, let us embrace that language and teach our children. I love you guys. May God richly bless you if you have watched up to this time. I love you. Teach your children. Please teach your children. Don't be stingy with the beautiful language. Don't know it alone and don't teach the children. I love you. Bye-bye.